It's no accident you're listening to the One Cell One Life Radio Network, featuring Dr. Hildegard Staninger. Join Dr. Hilde and her guests as they discuss a variety of art, science, and medicine. All coming up on the Dr. Hilde Show, and it all starts right now. Oh, here's Dr. Hilde. And today's special guest is Mark the Arcturian, my returning guest. So welcome, Mark the Arcturian. This world's very clever. It has a mind of its own. The Matrix will suck you in. While we're listening to Pandora on our smartphone, meanwhile checking Facebook on our iPad, and looking for the next American Idol to idolatrize, and in the other window looking at the latest pet yawning video, we won't see it coming. Listen, Dr. Hildy, you and I know that, you know, 500, maybe 1,000 people will hear this live or on a podcast. But the latest pet yawning video gets 6 million views. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're in a dream state. You know, they They are in a dream state, and it's a free will, it's free choice. They've chosen this world. Yes. And time is almost up. People want proof. Pretty soon, they will have all the proof they need. Unfortunately, it will be a day too late. There will come a day in the all-too-near future where you won't even have one more day to choose. I believe I mentioned it last time. I'm going to say it again this time. If you're listening to this broadcast anywhere on the west coast of North America, from Canada to Baja... You should have been long gone by now. How far? You, you couldn't get me to live anywhere within 200 miles full of any coast, especially the West Coast. That includes you, Hildy. Oh, I know. I know. Doctor. Mm-hmm. But there's something else we haven't mentioned. Fukushima. Oh, ho. made a picture which will later be up on the slideshow which was a kitchen match just a simple kitchen lit up and it says Chernobyl and next to that is a picture from Star Wars of the Death Star and it says Fukushima in other words next to Fukushima Chernobyl is a match right it is the stats are not good have heard of the squid that washed up on a 12-mile strand of Santa Cruz. Thousands of squid beached themselves on this 12-mile stretch in Santa Cruz, California last week. People go, yeah, I heard about that. But that's that. They don't know the big news, and you see this all over, the starfish. Thank God ABC finally picked this up. The starfish up and down the West Coast, from Canada to California, starfish are turning into this white goo. And they don't know why, or at least, okay, they're not copying to why. 
I can tell you why, and you can tell you why. Also, jellyfish are also manifesting this disintegrating disease. Right. Basically, radiation and poisoning, yes. Absolutely. Now, they're saying, oh, we, gosh, we can't imagine what it could be. Don't even talk about the, the hundreds of thousands of sardines, anchovies, whichever they were, that floated up in Redondo Beach the other day. The killer whales, orcas, off the Pacific coast, they're not sure why they have a high die-off rate right now. Really? 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 Okay, so the the numbers are not good. Fukushima to this day continues to spew 400 tons of irradiated groundwater into the Pacific every day for the last three years. That's a thousand days. Okay, 800,000 pounds of irradiated water per day for a thousand days. That's 80 million pounds of irradiated water. I just want you to remember, no matter what we say, it's not as bad as you think. It is, it's already far worse. Listen, far worse than you could possibly imagine. salmon which float right into Alaska. Now, who's closer to Fukushima, Alaska or you? Alaska. They had to close down one of the rivers and the sockeye salmon harvest is looking like it's going to be less than half of usual. All the way in Maine, which may or may not be related, they have shut down the shrimp season for 2014. Just shut it down. Listen, 90, they've been studying for 24 years the ocean floor. And instead of 1 to 2%, 98%, listen, 98% of the Pacific Ocean floor is littered with dead creatures. Along with the starfish disintegrating and the jellyfish, the squid, every bluefin tuna tested in the Pacific Ocean is inedible due to radiation. This is all within the three years of Fukushima, and I don't know whose eyes they want to pull the wool over that they're not related. Before March 2011, they didn't ban them for radiation, <laughs> didn't use Geiger counters in their supermarkets. But see, the smoke screen that media is using is really effective. Dr. Hildy, I it just amazes me how many people are belligerent, oblivious, want to stick their head in the sand, maybe it'll go away. No, it won't. This is not going... Even if ISON doesn't give us any dust, even if our economy stays strong, even if we don't have a worldwide pandemic, Fukushima is here for generations to come. Right, and it is generations to come. Even what has happened between Texas to Colorado, uh, where oh. you're at, they, they've even given alerts, don't eat the snow because it's it snow. Now, I was way up in uh, near Vail two weeks ago, and the snow was just sitting there on the pool, like well, almost a foot. And I licked this snow, and I spit it out, and I said, this is not right. This does not taste like snow. And then here comes this report. Texas, St. Louis, 
Colorado, and two other United States have high levels of radiation in the snow. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard of a potential, they've whispered, that the whole west coast of North America may have to be evacuated. Yes. Have you heard this? Yes. Just a whisper on ABC News should be enough. I believe I mentioned it last time. I'm going to say it again. This time, if you're listening to this broadcast anywhere on the West Coast of North America, from Canada to Baja, you should have been long gone by now. You know, I tell people I left California before it falls in the water. But how do I get all my friends and family and everyone else to leave California before it falls in the water? I couldn't do it. I had a poster once where I was doing a 2012 lecture and I up and down the coast and it said, first and final West Coast tour. Hmm. Got it? <laughs> Only once. And it wouldn't matter. Yeah, I could do it now and it wouldn't matter. But guess what? If, if the West Coast has to be evacuated, the ones that are going to hear that are going to leave California before it what? Falls in the water. Hmm. I'm in touch with the, one of the nuclear experts on the planet, have you? And what he said to me yesterday was this. When you hear all these people saying, well, this could happen, that could happen. Uh, wow. Oh, my God, they're going to, you know, try and remove the rods out of this, out of this container. Manual. All of that. Computer assist on these rods. What what he said to me was, you hear all this going to happen, maybe, you know, if this and if that. He says, forget all of that. It already did. Listen, this comes from reputable sources. It's already happened. The rods that they say they're going to remove from tank number four, which is up on the sixth floor. But they're going to have to do it, not even computer assist, they're going to have to do it manually, which is like trying to pull a needle out of a haystack with a pair of pliers and not touch any hay. Folks, there are no rods. There are no rods they're removing. It's already happened. They were in a complete meltdown ages ago. It is a soggy mess. They've hit the water table. They're producing radioactive steam. They're trying to put plastic tents over it. It's not good. The 300,000 tons of radioactive water that, oh, whoops, went over the barrier on a daily basis have let loose enough radioactive water to poison the oceans three times over. And you know what's next. The oceans are dying. And what's next is soil and green. I've got proof. They need proof. I've seen it. I've seen it happening. They've got to tell people. Tell them what? The ocean's dying. Plankton's dying. It's people. Soil and green is made out of people. Hmm. They're making our food out of people. Next thing they'll be breeding us like cattle for food. Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them silent breed is people! We gotta stop them somehow! It's time to consider things. Don't believe me. Don't believe a word I'm saying. That's as bad as believing every other nut out there. Listen, go look. It's already happened. It's already happened. 
It's already happened. It's already happened. It's already happened. It's already happened. It's already happened. It's already happened. What, what he said to me was, you hear all this going to happen, maybe, you know, if this and if that. He says, forget all of that. It already did. 